What's up YouTube? Here's a look at a couple of coins that just came in and I also have one that took about a month to reach me from the Ukraine. I've been waiting for this quarter ounce Ukraine Archangel which got caught a while in customs but it finally made it. I wasn't planning on purchasing additional pandas but I was able to find these at a discount because they do have some red spots. So these will be going in on my next submission to get those cleared up and bring them back up to market rate. Some of the best opportunities are the ones that people often neglect or are afraid of taking on the chance of a problem coin. Especially if you're competing with collectors, coins like this, there's not as much competition because the red spots just drive away the pure collector. Whereas, as an investor, I'm an opportunist and see the value that I can get out of it. This particular coin is mislabeled as a PF70 or MS70, which has some copper spots on the obverse and reverse of the coin. Now, these are simple enough to remove by NCS, so as long as the problem is a copper spot, then I'm willing to take the risk of sending it in for grading. And... Uh, doing an appearance review. What that means is NCS will take a look at the coin to see if it actually is an MS-70 and if they cleaned it back up will it still be an MS-70 and also get it into a new holder. So this is a 1995 large date 1 10th ounce gold panda. This one also has copper spots on the reverse and obverse at different parts of the coin. These will both go into conservation and we'll see what ends up happening. So if you follow my channel, you'll know that I often purchase coins with copper spots at a discount. And from there, I send them back in and get them cleaned up and the spots removed and bring them back to its original beauty and conserved. Once conserved, they get put away in the SDB in a controlled environment and hopefully no other issues in the future and I know exactly what has happened to the coin. Moving on, this is the one quarter ounce 2015 Ukraine Archangel. If you recall, I had the one tenth ounce version of the Archangel in my previous videos from 2015 to 2012, and this particular one is a 2015. It's 4.9 fine gold and 7.78 .7 grams of gold goodness. Here it is side by side compared to a one tenth ounce. So you can see the size difference in diameter. For this coin I was able to get a discount by using the make offer option on eBay and also discounted eBay gift cards. The last of the ones that I had from a month ago. I also got eight times eBay bucks on this particular coin. So most of these I usually try to get at some discount or wait until it, I can get a discount because they sit there for a long time. For the other coins, I'm sometimes just an opportunist and I just need to make sure that the spread is in my favor. With my recent experience, I'm more confident in taking bigger chances and bigger risks when I make some of these moves. But it's not for everybody. And finally, I wanted to show you a piece that I picked up at a ceremony earlier today. It was a gift given to us as a token of appreciation for a donation that we had given. The blade has inscriptions of sacred texts that are similar to the one that I have tattooed on my body. The text is actually a blessing for protection and as you can see the inscriptions are beautifully inscribed into the blade. It's an 18.5 inch cookery style blade and it'll fit nicely with the other knives in, that I have around the house. I normally have some tactical so it's nice to have a nice big knife. So if you like, please comment, like and subscribe.